Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Black & Decker Max Lithium Pivot Vacuum. The unit measures about 16 inches long with the nozzle extended and about 5 inches in height. This vacuum weighs 3 pounds. When you first get the vacuum, you have to charge the battery for 24 hours. Make sure the on-off switch is off before you charge and place the vacuum in the charger just like that. The blue light will flash while charging and go off after it's finished charging. With any lithium ion battery, it's best not to leave it in the base for more than a day. I've definitely forgotten to do that and left it for a few days, but it's safest to remove it from the base after it's fully charged. Press this button to pivot the nozzle and lock it into several positions. It feels very solid. At the end of the nozzle, there's a crevice tool that you can pull out and it'll lock and just push it back. On the other side, there is a brush that you can use for upholstery. I like the way it looks. It's black, sleek, and doesn't take up too much space. Let's see how this vacuum does on rice. It's just plain white rice. All the rice is sucked up. Now I'll try some black beans. These are dried black beans. So you can see it is powerful. It sucked up the black beans with no problem. Now I'll try a few paper clips. These are large. It also handled the paper clips without any issues. And you can see everything's in the container, and the container is a decent size. I vacuumed my car with this unit. The crevice tool does a decent job of picking up stuff, but it does not pick up everything. Sometimes the crevice tool does not stay locked. It did a decent job on the rubber mat and a good job on the floor mat. It did pick up stones and larger particles without any problem. 
Pull the door latch to empty any dirt. The door feels really light and closes weakly. I'm not too confident that the door will last that long. Push and hold the release button. Move the nozzle down and it releases. To put it back in, just move the nozzle up and it locks. Turn the filter to the right and it pulls right up. Just tap this to get the dust off. After you remove the filter, turn it over and you could pull out the pre-filter by turning it to the right. It's very difficult, but it will eventually pull out. You can put it back the same way, just stick it in and turn it and it'll lock. You can see all the dirt in here. Could just tap it out. The inside can be wiped with a damp cloth or you can rinse it and thoroughly dry it. The filter should be replaced every six to nine months. The filter and pre-filter can also be washed, but just make sure you thoroughly dry it before putting it back in the container. I like the way the unit looks. It's black, sleek, and doesn't take up too much space. I love anything cordless because of the convenience. It's three pounds and I think it will feel heavy in your hands after maybe a few minutes, but initially it's not that bad. The battery should last about 15 minutes. As for the noise level, it's loud. Overall, it's a powerful vacuum that's handy for quick daily jobs. If you wanna try this Black & Decker out, I've put a link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this review. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.